Hey Rock Room, Dirtman here again with another special report, bringing the geology to you. Over the last five weeks, I've traveled up and down the East Coast, but today I'm returning home, close to where I grew up in Baltimore County, Maryland. I'm standing on the Piney Run Formation, part of the Wissahickon Group, with an ultramafic dike running just over that hill with serpentine and soapstone. According to the Maryland Geological Survey, garnet being resistant from weathering completely covers the beds of small streams, running out of schist areas. I grew up playing in these such streams, just like this one. Wherever you look, these rocks are filled with garnet still in the schist. It only takes a small shovel and a couple screen pans and only a scoop to start finding them. Right away, with a quick inspection of the pan, you can start to see faceted garnets. There's lots right in this one handful. And that's what you're going to find here. Lots and lots of garnets, just like that. So here's a good range of what you're going to be looking for. Ones being from about a, almost a half inch to anywhere below a quarter inch and even smaller. But they'll still be completely terminated. However, these aren't the type of garnets that you're usually going to be making into jewelry. They're a little darker, you can't see through them, and most of the time they have a rusty appearance. Why? Because all of them are slightly magnetic, which is one way you can separate the smaller garnets out from the surrounding rocks. But there's another interesting geological layer just down the stream here. This little cut here that I've been digging over the last couple years is actually what the Malin Geological Survey refers to as a fine-grained biotite quartzite in masses no thicker than one decimeter. And that's what I've found. No bigger than this. But when I pan it out, I get very small bright white quartz and also very small bright red garnets which are different than the garnets lining this stream. And with a soapstone source so close by, you may just find a Susquehannock Indian artifact, like this carved bowl that I found as a child. I'm Dirt Man, and that's my geological report from here in Baltimore County, Maryland. Back to you, Jerry.